Hello and welcome back. This time we are going to talk about libraries. Yeah? I mean, in the meantime, we've produced some pretty nice objects. Yeah? Let's say we are very satisfied with this solution. Yeah? Let's say we think our, our object, our pins.h with all those object inside, the pin class, the digital input, digital output, analog output and so on. This is ready for deployment and I want to use it in other products too. Okay? I do not just want to use it in this particular sketch, I want to use it somewhere else, like a library. Yeah? This is why we're talking about now what we have to do that we can use this as a library. Yeah? So let's say we are very much satisfied with this topic. Yeah? This is the program from last time. Yeah? There is this pin H and pins CPP, that's our solution, let's call it. We want to use this as library. What we have to do for this? I'm using here a little toy called toy. Tool, of course, toy. It's a toy tool. Every tool is a toy as well. <laughs> uh, uh, total Commander, I really like this, this Total Commander stuff here. Uh, because I have two windows. You can do it with uh, the Windows Explorer as well. Just something. Yeah, I'm very used to this. Yeah? So what to do? Go to your Arduino sketch folder. This is usually somewhere here yeah, in this. Ooh. Yeah. Your profile yeah? <laughs> and, and documents. Where are the documents? Here. Yeah. No, this is not the documents. They are here, I have them under OneDrive documents, these, and there is the Arduino. Uh, these are the programs and so on. Yeah? And there is also a subdirectory called libraries. Yeah? Libraries. And here we do, we make now a new folder. Yeah? I call it pins, because it must have the same name like the like the library, yeah? because the other ones are called pins.h and so on, book, enter. Then I just copy from my program, this was this one, yeah? there is this pins, cpp and pins h, I just copy it to this subdirectory. Okay? Let's try, let's make a new sketch. Huh? I will copy only the main program here, only the main program, to the new sketch. Zit. I don't need this. I have to take, take care a little bit, yeah, because this now I have to, to put them in those brackets, those, those type, those edgy brackets, yeah, because the standard uh, means in the same directory and this means somewhere else. Yeah? Let's see if we can compile it. Ah, we have to save. Yes, save it, please. It's compiling. It is, it seems like compiling. It compiled. Here, this pins.h is not there. We have used a library. Okay. Here, sketch, include library, it's not there up to now. Huh? Hmm. Let's see, in manage libraries, no, oh, takes a little while, takes a little while, will also not be. But it's updating the list of libraries now. This is actually why I called it. And now, sketch. Include library. Pins. <laughs> it's even there. It's even there. We just produced the library. We can press here pins and it will write include pins.h. Great, great. We have already written it. It does not check. Yeah? <sighs> Good. 
good, isn't it? However, these programs you see, they are now a little bit boring. Huh? Here, they are syntax highlighting and so on. Maybe we can check how this is going. And I show you. Huh? Inside this new folder, inside this library pins, huh? we make a new, let's make me small, huh? we make a new file and we make a text file, text document, and we call this keywords.text. Okay? This is actually text file, and now we are going to write something inside. Yeah? What are we going to write inside? Well, we want to, we have to write inside what things we want to have uh, as highlighted, syntax highlighted. Of course, we want to have that pins is syntax highlighted. And there's a tabulator, and then we write keyword one. Okay? We want to have that this uh, pin class, pin class shall be highlighted, keyword one. We want to have digital input shall be highlighted, keyword one. Yeah. We want to have digital output, shall be highlighted, keyword tab one. Yeah. We have ana analog output, shall be highlighted, keyword one. Now let's save it. Yeah. Nothing changed up to now. Yeah. I'm calling again this uh, manage libraries yeah, that it will reload the libraries. Let's see. Okay, press cancel, already done. Yeah. Close. Puck! Syntax highlighting on our own code. Okay. So this is keyword one, fat syntax red. Okay. Now we want, if we want to have also these uh, methods of the things, of the of the objects, syntax highlighted. Yeah? I will simply now open this pins to the edge. Yeah? So there is the set, for instance. Yeah? Set. Add. A new keyword set and this double utter use keyword two. Okay, reset. Keyword two. This is now another type of keyword. Make keyword two, then value here from the from the analog output value. Yeah. Keyword two. Yeah. Then we have this add cb function on keyword two status keyword two check tab keyword two. Mm -hmm. Save now. See, it's even working in here. <laughs> Save now. Uh, here, my program. Uh, reload the library. I mean, well, move this a little bit here. Syntax highlighted. Yeah. Reset, check, yeah. add CB function. And you see, keyword number two is not a fat highlighting, bold highlighting, it's just red. Yeah. There would be also literal, literal would then make blue things, yeah. 
like this true, for instance. Uh, literal, they are called literal one. We produced, we just produced our own library. Uh, let's try to upload. Oh, I have to connect my Arduino. Yes, of course, it's not it's not working because COM9 was not reachable, but now it should. I have connected. Uploading. See if this is working. No. Ah, so reset. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> yes. Still working. We produced our own library just by copying and adding some things in the text file. It will not appear in the library manager. You have to do something more. You can look up in the internet, but for your private purpose, purposes, this should do. For your private purposes, you can use it. Yeah. Then you are can use your own library in all of your projects. That's it. That's it. We heard quite a lot of stuff about object-oriented programming. Yeah, we heard what is an object, what are methods, what are attributes, what is private, how we can inherit. Yeah. Uh, next time we're going to, to think about what we've done here. Yeah. Let's see what, what things we've learned from this object-oriented approach, let's call it. Yeah. Summarize a little bit. But now you can really produce some, some objects, eh? for instance, a timer object, eh? which you can say, okay, tell me after one second eh? or tell me after 20 seconds, it will wake up and tell you, yeah? or a limit object, which will check limits with hysteresis, maybe, yeah? or a measurement object. Yeah? which will smooth some measured value, make a mean value out of it, yeah? sliding average value or something like this, or an object which can handle this shift controller, yeah? this 74CH shift register. Yeah? You only tell which pin number you want or which pin number you want to turn on, poke turned on, not care about shift out and something like this. Yeah? The sky is the limit. Okay. So, like I said, next time, let's rethink what we think now about this object-oriented approach. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.